the oracle count function. In this video, we'll take a look at the count function oracle. The count function is used to count the number of specified values, for example, the number of values in a column. Let's take a look at some examples. The syntax of a count function takes a single parameter. A lot of the time, we'll use the star or the asterisk character, which will count all records in a table. We use the function by saying select count from and then our product name. For example, this product table here. By running this query, it will show me the count of records down the bottom here, which is 200. So there are 200 records in this table. One of the columns inside the product table is called status. Let's say I wanted to find the number of unique status records in this table. Let's say I wanted to find the number of unique status records in this table. I can do this by saying select count and then inside the brackets, distinct and then the column which is status from product. So this will count the number of distinct status values in the product table. When I run the query, it shows a value of three, which means out of those 200 records, there are three different status values spread over those 200 records. What if I wanted to put the distinct keyword outside of the count function? If I run this query, it will show me the value of 200. This is because the distinct is applied to all the records that are shown. So first it counts the status column, which finds a value of 200. And then it finds the distinct value of all the values returned. But in this case, there's only one value returned, which is 200. So there's nothing more distinct about it. We can also use the count function with a group by. For example, we wanted to find the status values and the number of records that have those status values from the product table. To do this, we need to specify a group by on all of the columns that we're not including in the count function, which in this case is just status. So select status count star from product group by status will show us this result here. It shows us the three unique values, A, D, and F, and also the count of records that have those values. So you can see that almost every value has a status of A, but there are a couple with a status of D and F. We can also use count with a WHERE clause. For example, we want to count the products where the retail price is greater than or equal to 10. If I run this query, it shows a value of 115. This means that of the 200 records in the table, 115 of them have a retail price of greater than or equal to 10. The next example I'll show you is a combination of the group by and a WHERE clause. We're going to show the status and the count of those status values for the products where the retail price is greater than or equal to 10. So of those 115 records we just saw, 111 of them have a status of A, two have a status of D and the last two have a status of F. Another thing that we can do with the count function is use something other than asterisk. If we wanted to count the number of values in a particular column, we can do that. It doesn't always need to be a star. This will count all of the non-null values inside the product ID column. It's the primary key, so it's showing 200. Now finally, another way you might have seen this count function written is using count1. Count1 will count a value of 1 for each row that's returned from the WHERE clause, but in this case there isn't. So it will count 1 for each record in the product table. If I run this, it will show me the value of 200. Now you might be wondering what the difference is between this and count star. The answer is they're exactly the same. They're both translated into the same query behind the scenes in Oracle and have the same execution plan and the same result. So count one is equal to count star. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you wanted to find out more, you can click on the link to find out more about this count function and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.